Nathan back with another video today sharing with you uh, how to make presets in Photoscape X or at least what is the kind of quasi way of making uh, presets this comes from a person on my channel asking hey in Photoscape X can you go in and make your own presets because they do have filters and things like that and basically what a preset is is something where you're able to take the time beforehand and edit a photo to your liking and then save the way that you edited that photo and then be able to just automatically paste all those edits into a photo just instantaneously so let's say uh, for example you were at an event and you took this like great photo of this guy uh, parachuting down the American flag it looks really cool and you're like I want to post that right away but I want it to also look like the th kind of theme of the photos that I normally take I want it to look like well maybe the rest of my Instagram uh, page so you can go in and you can select different um, you know different filters but if you want it to be custom made yourself and you want it to be something that's really in depth that you don't want to go and make all those same exact as the same time presets are an incredible thing and they're also sold online you have people like Peter McKinnon he's an incredible photographer and has just been doing it for so long and is great on YouTube uh, he made different packs where it's like oh yeah for thirty dollars here's some different before and after pictures of him with um, whether it's out in the wilderness or all these different things he's a Canadian a YouTuber and he's uh, someone who's been real inspirational for me uh, but you can see how these different edits would automatically you know make those changes and how it just looks amazing nonetheless in Photoscape X you're really limited because presets are a very very powerful tool but let me show you what uh, you can do in Photoscape X so to start off uh, to do this you actually do have to have the pro model if you're on just a normal model and you go over here to what I'm gonna be talking to you which is uh, micros when you are in the editor you see favorites but you also see micros You click micros and you're like oh yeah I want to be able to play this or save this unfortunately it's a pro thing that you're gonna have to have the pro version for the pro version is forty dollars one-time purchase nothing too crazy and when you're in there then you do get access to this tool amongst many other tools uh, you can go over to uh, micros and you're able to say oh yeah I want to play the micro and I can look in here and I do have one saved over here and I can uh, open it and then sure enough it says oh yes they're going to be applying the grayscale that you saved and the uh, miniature uh, uh, another effect as well so you can preview it and you can preview it can you can see oh wow so it's going to super blur the photo um, because it's doing kind of a vignette style thing and it's also going to grayscale it you know so you can click that and then both of those effects are added instantaneously and in this case it looks terrible because really you have to make your own presets for your own specific things but let me show you how this would work basically in here you would go and say all right I want to make my own preset let's do this I would have to go into uh, the editor or into color or to film and I'd say oh yes I want to uh, do some different things so let's say I wanted to color I said oh I want to brighten it a little bit oh maybe darken this deepen that I want to make it more vibrant I want the clarity to be good I want the contrast to be bumped a bit I want the saturation to be increased by a ton so it's just like really poppy and something like that darker highlights we can do that shadow I do want the HDR turned on you know or maybe I want it turned off you know you can do all these different playing around things but then you can also go back to this editor and say oh yeah in the adjusting I want to go and have like a a small sharpen I want that uh, I also want to do like this bokeh blur nah let's forget about that but basically you go and you apply all these different effects and let's say you're done editing this photo and you want to save the preset you go over to here to make uh, to micros um, and you go over here and hit save the micro and what happens is it says um, let's see and you might have to actually have to save multiples because you know you look at uh, the colors you change the colors and stuff and you're like cool I'm gonna apply that I'm gonna go back here to micros can I save that 
You can. Okay, good. I was looking. I'm like, oh, you better be able to save at least something. Uh, but yeah, so you are able to go in, save the color, save the sharpen, um, and you're able to hit save. Um, I can save it as, you know, Nathan one. Maybe I'll go and sell this or something. Um, and I might make a few and put them in the description down below just so you guys can play around with things more. But let's say I save that. And then later I have another photo. And uh, the photo is of kind of the same thing, uh, but it's from farther away. And I say, oh, I want to apply that same effect. So I'm going to hit play micro. And what I'm going to do is go into here, find that uh, edit. All right, so the Nathan one, I'm going to hit apply. It's going to say sharpen the color, and let's see what we have in here. We can see actually what uh, amount of sharpness was added, so I could adjust that a little bit. So that's actually really nice. Um, you can go over here to color, and you can see the amount and the color changes that you made in here. So that's actually kind of cool because you're able to see what those changes were and do slight adjustments and things. And let me see, from my understanding, now let's see, can I cancel? Okay, so now I'm back to here, and I can hit preview, and I can see that that's the previewed end thing. So I can see the original, and then I can see the preview, and then I'm hoping I can go back. Can I go back here? Oh, yes, perfect. So I can actually hit this reset button, and I can go in here and say, oh yes, I want that. Uh, oh yeah, I want this, but I want it to be brighter. I want it to be deeper. I want it to light and dark and shadow contrast. I want to change it even more. I want to change some of those things even more. Um, and I'm going to apply that. So then it's going to bake those two things in. And then I can look at before, after, reset. So actually, um, if you're looking at it and saying, okay, I want to be able to make a preset. I want to be able to do it. You can do it in Photoscape X. I would say that if you're at the point where you're needing presets to save you time and, you know, increase what you're able to output like if you had um, an event that you needed to shoot for and you want to get some real good photos at the end of it you know that's that's something that's really cool you could totally go out and you could totally do that uh, but the challenge is that when you're editing um, tons of different photos and you're doing it for maybe work or something where there are those huge time constraints on you you really do probably need to look into Photoshop and Lightroom because those are going to be incredible tools as well but for those who want to mess around with it, those who want to save the money and you want to use micros you can do that in the pro version of Photoscape X so you guys thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day ask me any questions down below if you want to know more about this or a different subject in Photoscape X, I'd definitely check out my one hour training of how to go from beginner to expert in Photoscape X. Thanks. Bye.